Hi everyone. This, of course, is Be Divine. And this is a message called Solving Problems. If you have an issue on your mind, maybe you can think about that. Otherwise, this is just going to give you a lot of advice anyway. I'm using the giant Syrian uh, Starseed Tarot. Okay. And I'm going to very intuitively give guidance as we move along. So the first section, there's seven cards in this reading. First one is your intended outcome, okay? And what helps you to gather information? What is the insight you require? Um, who inspires you? What do you already know? Should I let this go? And advice. Okay, what, are the, what is the answer or advice here? Okay, giant cards, so we get a good look at things. So the first thing is, what is your intended outcome? You have the eight of crystals. The situation that I'm sort of feeling here for you is that you want to be able to leave things behind. You want to be able to perhaps leave a legacy, a name, um, a way of teaching, um, something that you're able to hand down. Right now, it feels to me that you have or you are in uh, the stages of preparing yourself some of you are studying and teaching as well. Some of you are growing a business. Some of you are thinking or contemplating leaving a particular job and moving to something more connected with who you are as a soul. There's a great and powerful message here that the universe knows the way and you need to trust a little more in allowing that un the universe to open these doorways for you paying attention to what things are closing off in your life right now. You are someone who has a large mission and people tend to think that the mission is something or their journey or their soul path is something that makes them a lot of money. And what if money is not an object? What if that's not the case at all? What are you going to give to humanity from your heart? That's what you're being asked to, asked to do. And your intended outcome, what you really want is to be able to share, to give, to counsel, to be of service. And you're going to be richly rewarded for this. Okay. I'm also going to do a, um, teach you all a webinar on soul contracts. This will be a longer webinar and tickets will be available soon. What helps you gather information and this is the adept of orbs so what this is talking about is that the energy of the divine is flowing through you and you're able to gather this information if you can get out of your own way okay there's information from the universe happening all of the time you know, and many, many songwriters, especially Jimi Hendrix, said that, it, you know, he didn't think of anything. The universe kind of gave it to him. He tuned into the frequency and came out with the music, right? And it was just a natural occurrence. I mean, look how awesome, right? So, you know, the natural occurrence for us as you know, beings on the planet is to be able to absorb information from the divine and instantaneously have the manifestations occur. So this is what helps you gather information is to understand your connection a lot better, okay? Don't doubt who you are. And that is one thing that humans do all of the time. So what is the insight that you really need? How can you see? How you can blend things, how you can create things. How you can take two things, blend them together, and it creates a new item. You have this ability within you. Everybody does. And actually, we are far greater than we've ever been given credit for or we've ever been led to believe. 
And once you start to understand your true spiritual pathway without ego, and you start to understand that you are a fingerprint of the divine walking around the earth, okay, then you can understand that you can actually do anything that you set your heart to as and and it's not so much that you're setting something into the future you're just setting it into the here and now you're claiming things a little bit more as already occurring so what do you already know okay you already know love is the answer you already know this for some of you you know that there's a connection between you and another that is like no other. And for some of you, you're looking for that um, blending, um, that connection, okay, with somebody else. And you already know that you need to make some choices here as well. So the also the lovers is talking about how you love yourself because that is what you're going to receive in a relationship. So However you want the relationship to be, you need to treat yourself this way as well. This is another key. Should I let this go? Ten of crystals. So this is a hunt for money. This is a, you know, a, a connection with things coming at you, but you're not seeing it that way. You're feeling like you have to work so hard in order to achieve. You need to let this go. This is not serving you in any way. What we need to do is if we're the sort of people that always give, we also need to allow ourselves to receive, which can be really hard if you've come from a background where receiving something meant that it may not always be there. It might be something you have to give up later or there's a catch. So it's very hard to, to let go of the old thought forms of, oh my God, but if I get that, it's going to go, something's going to happen to change things, um, you know, people are going to hate me. You also have to look at how you feel about others who have things in life. Do you scoff at them and think, oh, well, it's easy for them, you know? So we have to see how we perceive security because that is, if we get security ourselves, do we really want others to feel that way about us when we know how hard we've worked for it, you know? So there's just a few little things there to adjust, of course, as we always are. And here's some advice. The Ace of Crystals and the Three of Crystals. I love it. So what you're experiencing, what's coming into your life now is the universe showing you just what you've got the universe showing you more than what you asked for because the idea of you know abundance in any way I mean you've got the ten of uh, crystals the ace and the three it, it's coming in I'm telling you because of your adjustments and when you start to understand that the only people that limit things are humans <laughs> then you can have uh, something limitless coming into your life without messing with someone else's free will, of course, right? So when you're asking to manifest things, you want to ask for yourself because if you have, the more you have, the more you're able to give. And you can't mess with someone else's free will, their life journey, their soul contracts either. You can't do that. It won't be rewarded. But if you are asking for yourself and the betterment, and this actually betters humanity, I'm telling you now, this is the quickest way to achieve your goals, okay? There's apprenticeships here for some people, training, knowledge, wisdom, new beginnings, and more abundance coming in, but it may feel like a loss at first, okay? There's blessings in disguise here. That's the message I'm getting. Every cloud has a silver lining, remember? So stay really in tune with who you are. Follow your own pathway without worrying about distractions from others and open yourself up to receive and the blessings that come are going to be unbelievably beautiful for you. And you deserve these things, okay? Hope to hear from you soon. Sending blessings to all of you. Hope you liked the reading. Bye for now.